Everyone knows that the Grand Theft Auto series is known for having some of the weirdest easter eggs, reported phenomena, and myths in all of gaming. Rivaling certain real-life cases in terms of scope and investigating alleged cryptids and mysteries. Today, we're going to continue this series, diving into more myths and legends, this time back in GTA. And if you're new to this series, I have two other videos looking into GTA San Andreas, as well as Mario 64. Make sure to check those out as well. But without further ado, let's take a look at the many myths and legends of GTA 4. Eddie Lowe If you're familiar at all with this game, you'll probably know that Eddie Lowe is a real character, who is even featured in some side missions. And Eddie is actually a serial killer, preying on victims in Liberty City. And he is even based, at least partially, on a real New York serial killer that operated in the 70s, known as Son of Sam. And you can hear about this at the time unnamed serial killer in Liberty City on the news and the radio until eventually you do meet him as Nico, and he has some pretty disturbing dialogue. Wait here for me, friend. Special friend. I'm just dropping the kids off. But upon your second meeting with Eddie, he actually attacks you, forcing Nico to actually kill him, which is later reported in the news. Not so much a myth here, but this is just 100% true. I just thought it was really creepy and interesting to mention, because we really don't know the true extent of his crimes, and who knows, maybe there's some other secret related to him and his crimes just waiting to be found. Doc's Ghost This myth concerns an entity that is supposedly found near the docks in Northwood Heights, and is described as a kind of ghost-like figure, hence the name. And there have been numerous alleged sightings of certain entities or ghosts here, most of which have varying descriptions, from it being a woman to it being a construction worker or even a dock worker. A YouTube user named David Edge did an investigation into this mystery, but nothing really came about from it. But uh, you do get to see this. Wow, uh, can you tell it's from 2008? This is the kind of stuff we're really here for. Ratman. Okay, so this is definitely the myth for this game. The Bigfoot of GTA 4, if you will. Being easily the most infamous and investigated myth in the whole game. And Ratman, as he's been called, is an alleged NPC that can supposedly be found in the underground subway station, although there are varying accounts as far as sightings of the creature are concerned. But what's agreed upon is that it is said to resemble a human with rat-like features that will attack the player or nearby NPCs before running away into the darkness. Sometimes he's even been said to say, I am Ratman when attacking the player. Now, all of this mainly started because of alleged sightings, including this iconic image, which I believe started this whole trend. Although sadly, much like Bigfoot, this is most likely not real, but it's still a very fun myth. Haunted Baby Stroller This is another really iconic myth from GTA 4, concerning this specific baby stroller found underneath one of the highways, and at first glance it doesn't seem like anything special. In fact, there are other baby strollers in the game, but this one in particular is the one that many players believe is haunted, which is said to manifest in many ways, such as the stroller moving on its own, or even hearing strange ambient noises, or even the voice of a little girl. Kind of creepy, right? Well, these strollers being in the game at all is kind of just creepy on its own, to be honest. Considering there are no kids to be found in the game, so they're always just empty and abandoned, which probably led to a lot of people believing this one was haunted. Although it is possible that a glitch could occur which causes the stroller to roll down the slope on its own, which could be one of the reasons that this stroller has been reported as moving. But there really is no explanation for the other stuff that was reported. Alligators. Okay, so kind of like what we had in San Andreas with the sharks, we have alligators in GTA 4. And this myth is mostly a thing because of a real-life urban legend of alligators living in the sewers of New York City, which is something that is actually backed up by a Liberty Tree article called Urban Myths Gone Wild, which I guess fueled the flames of this particular myth. 
even calling them giant alligators. Some have claimed to have seen these alligators in the sewers, and some have even claimed to have been attacked and killed by them, although there is really no proof of their existence in the game at all. And they are very unlikely to exist, unlike sharks in San Andreas. But to be fair, I probably would have said that about them too before they ended up being found, so who knows. And you know what? Since I already brought it up, sharks. So just like San Andreas, sharks have also been reported in GTA 4, and likewise are said to be found in the various bodies of water in the game. And this was a kind of lesser talked about myth for the most part, until the San Andreas discovery, which made people look for sharks in just about every GTA game, including this one. But yeah, sharks are not likely in the game. I mean, you can't even swim underwater like you can in San Andreas, so yeah, it's really unlikely. Leprechauns. Alright, we're getting into the good stuff now. It's kind of an obscure one, but it's still kind of funny. Anyway, not too much to say other than the fact that some players seem to think that there are leprechauns in the game, or have even claimed to have encountered them. And as far as quote unquote proof goes, uh, there's a bar in the game called Leprechaun's Winkle Picker, which I guess is enough proof to say that these little dudes in green hats are running around, so we'll take it. Duncan the Morbid. Okay, so this one is a real character, although he is only ever featured on one of the game's websites and cannot actually be found in game as far as we know. Although some players have reported that he can be found in cemeteries during the dark hours of the night. But what even is he? Well, according to MyRoomOnline.net, an in-game website, he's supposedly a vampire living in Liberty City, along with his vampire girlfriend who goes by the name RavenVamp11 and it's thought that she can also be found at these cemeteries, with some reporting that this is actually her. Although there is no solid proof of Duncan being in the game at all. Glowing Man Supposedly there is an NPC that can be found in the subway stations that appears to be a glowing NPC, which has been said to appear in similar situations and areas to that of Ratman. Although this glowing man, as he's been called, has been said to be found more often in multiplayer sessions. But there is no definitive proof, and it is most likely a hoax. However, some do believe that it could just be a rare glitch phenomenon. Colony Island Killer This myth concerns another alleged serial killer. One that can supposedly be found on Colony Island, near or around the cemetery, and has also been reported to be found behind the lighthouse. It's an interesting urban legend because it isn't associated with any specific character or model in the game, and is actually said to spawn as a random pedestrian NPC. The evidence for this character existing, besides the reports of the encounters with the killer, are that there is a strangely placed baseball bat behind the lighthouse, which some theorize could be the murder weapon of the serial killer, but there's also some strange and notable NPC behavior in that area as it has been reported that they will sometimes flee from something unknown, which some think could possibly be the killer. Some also believe that the Colony Island Cemetery is haunted by ghosts, and that they could be fleeing from that, but that's a whole other can of worms. All in all, a pretty unlikely myth. Killer Bees Alright, this is another pretty funny one. And yes, it is just what it sounds like. This is another myth spawned from one of the in-game newspapers, the Liberty Tree. Although interestingly, it wasn't originally stated in this game, but in the GTA 3 version of the newspaper, where the bees were first mentioned. And apparently there have been reports of those same bees actually appearing in this game in the various parks around the city. But yeah, this isn't real, as much as I would like it to be. Black Triangles so this is another myth related to the UFO phenomena, which is basically a whole umbrella of myths and urban legends at this point, but more specifically, these black triangles as they're called, are said to be UFOs that can be seen in the far corners of the map when the player travels far out to the ocean, typically at nighttime in the northern part of the map. Although these triangular shaped UFOs are most likely just planes or helicopters spawning in the far reaches of the sandbox, or possibly some sort of glitch, creating these polygon-like shapes in the sky. So yeah, most likely not real. Although Bully also has a similar phenomenon with triangle UFOs, so who knows. Invader 
Alright, this one is not very creepy, but just kind of interesting. It refers to a real-life French graffiti artist that is said to be found in GTA 4, which surprisingly isn't as far-fetched as it sounds, I guess. So just to give a basic rundown, Invader is a graffiti artist known for his sometimes gaming-related artwork, but also for the fact that for a long time, including when GTA 4 was released, no one knew his true identity. Until in 2020, his identity was actually revealed. But how is this even related to GTA? Well, apparently there are a few pieces of graffiti art that are said to resemble Invader's work, such as one of Pac-Man, which is one of his pieces that is most well known. Although he has never been spotted in-game, this could be a reference to him and his works. Also in GTA 5, there is a hooded NPC also wearing a monkey mask that can be seen doing graffiti in-game. Growling noises. These are, well, exactly what it sounds like. Growling noises that are said to be heard at night in certain areas of the map. Which is not only creepy, but strange considering there are no animals in the game aside from the birds. Or flying rats as they're known as in this game. No dogs or anything like that. But some believe that these growls are actually coming from a ghostly entity. Most commonly encountered on the beach or near the Alderney Casino at night. Some have even theorized that these noises could possibly be coming from the hobos in that area or even be from possible thunderstorms. But some people also do think that it could possibly be the seagulls, as some even think that they sound like a witch laughing. Jack the Ripper Okay, everyone knows who Jack the Ripper is, I don't need to go into the backstory, right? I'll just say it's another serial killer that can supposedly be found in GTA 4. Typically said to be seen at night attacking prostitutes, like his real-life counterpart. But there is no proof of his existence at all, despite investigations into it. The only thing that is even remotely related is a mission titled Portrait of a Killer, which is a reference to a book of the same name written about Jack the Ripper. I almost just said Jeff the Killer, what's wrong with me? Anyways, moving on. Karate Master so this is an NPC pedestrian that is said to be found doing some sort of karate moves or karate routine, and while it's not all that strange, at least compared to some of the other stuff on this list, it is actually real. And you can find this rare NPC on top of a large rock, practicing his moves, and you can kill him too, which is kind of funny. Interesting easter egg I guess though. Rotterdam Monster so this myth is similar to the Loch Ness Monster, and basically any sea creature cryptid from the GTA games. I mean, there are plenty of those. This one in particular is said to be found on the coast of Alderney, with many videos and investigations on this supposed creature, usually reported as a strange shape or shadow moving along the water. Although this could be many things. Of course these reports could simply be hoaxes, the easiest answer or some sort of texture glitch or weather phenomenon that is causing the strange shadows in the water. Either way, this one is not real, unfortunately. Michael Myers Hey, what do you know, another serial killer. This time the very well-known character from the Halloween franchise. This myth most likely got started here because of a similar myth in GTA San Andreas, although both were fabricated, and I guess some of the San Andreas mods just fueled the flames with this particular myth as well as many others. And there is a sort of easter egg alluding to Michael, in that on the radio there can be heard a report of a 6 year old boy who killed his entire family. Close enough to the story of Michael Myers, although in the movie he only killed his sister. Middle Park Whale this may sound weird, but this is definitely one of the myths that I heard about as a kid. Funnily enough, this one is also supported by an article that says, quote, In related news, police are investigating claims that a whale was seen swimming in Middle Park. However, it is simply most likely a parody of GTA myths, similar to the one on the alligators. Even so, there have been many reports and investigations into the Middle Park area, which, on an unrelated note, has an interestingly shaped lake. Kind of looks like an alien, right? Anyways, it's obviously not real, but it's one of the funner ones out there. For some reason, when I was a kid, I really wanted this one to be real. I guess I just thought it would be cool to see a giant whale in this tiny little lake in the middle of Liberty City. The Bigfoot of Bohan 
Ah uh, yes, Bigfoot Returns. It truly wouldn't be a Rockstar title if there wasn't some sort of Bigfoot urban legend. This time he is said to be located at Wellham Park in Bohan, Liberty City. And surprisingly, there is a little more evidence to back this up than in San Andreas. Although they are most likely just easter eggs alluding to the legend. Such as on the map, there is a lake in the shape of a foot. Although, people have also reported hearing these strange growling noises we talked about earlier in this park, which they attribute to Bigfoot. Some players have even claimed to have seen him, but uh, yeah, it would be kind of weird for Bigfoot to be in this tiny ass park in the middle of the city. I mean, the San Andreas one sounds much more plausible in that regard. At least he could be found in a forest, allegedly. So yeah, it's not real, but Bigfoot will always remain one of the best myths in all of the GTA games. Peeping Tom According to reports, if the player walks around a certain neighborhood in Beachgate, there can be seen a man staring at Nico through the window of his house. However, this could just be a strangely spawned or even glitched NPC. Still, it is a kind of weird and creepy phenomenon. Ninjas Yes, you heard that right. Uh, yeah, so what can be said about this? Well, apparently there have been <laughs> reports of ninja sightings. Yeah, some players have claimed to encounter these NPCs in Actor Industrial Park, and it's said that they wear the classic ninja outfits and are extremely fast, much faster than the player, and simply flee if spotted and do not engage in combat. Now, this may just sound kind of ridiculous and just random to be an urban legend in this game compared to the other stuff, I guess, but apparently this was also a pretty well-known myth in GTA Vice City, so I guess we'll talk about that whenever I cover that game. Spy Helicopters So this doesn't sound that far-fetched, at least compared to some of the other ones we've talked about, and well yeah, this is true in a sense. We all know that aircraft in this game is very common, you can see it in the sky pretty much anywhere on the map at any given time, both planes and helicopters. But there have been reports over the years of a strange phenomenon in relation to the helicopters specifically, as some will actually just stay in one place, seemingly spying on the player, and sometimes they were even reported to flee if the player got too close. And there are a couple of hotspots that this was most commonly reported to happen in, that being these spots on the map, but mostly in the northern part of Algonquin. Basically, what's most likely going on here is that when players see helicopters that are very far away, they aren't actually using their AI mapping and moving around as normal, and it most likely doesn't trigger unless you reach a certain render distance, which will then allow the helicopter to move, which makes it look like it's flying away from you as it resumes its standard pathing. Although sometimes these helicopters have stopped even right next to the player, which could possibly be some sort of bug. Museum Ghost This refers to the Libertonian Museum, which is a very important location in the GTA 4 story, but it's also said to be haunted by one or even more ghosts. As players have been said to see some strange happenings in there, such as objects randomly falling over or moving on their own although there is no solid evidence of this occurring. Moto Man This one is real, but it's more of a glitched NPC than anything else, although it is kind of strange. It's similar to another multiplayer NPC that we'll get into a little later, but these Moto Men, as they're called, are really just Jamaican gang members that spawn outside of their typical gang turf and walk around wearing motorcycle helmets, despite not riding bikes, and are known to be quite aggressive and hostile towards the player for some reason. And they tend to spawn near Chinatown and the airport. Just kind of a weird and interesting bug. Devil's Swing Now I'm sure a lot of you will remember this one if you've played the game at all. Not so much a myth, but more so a glitch. I mean, a lot of these are glitches, but anyway. Definitely my favorite thing on this list. Super nostalgic. So if you don't already know, the Devil Swing, as I guess it's called, is a particular swing set found in a playground in Broker, which is notable for, well, let me just show you. Yep. 
Yeah, so this thing is super fun to mess around with, especially online with friends. And obviously it's just a crazy glitch, but you know, as most things go in these Rockstar games, there's always some sort of urban legend or backstory behind it. I guess it's somehow related to the devil or some sort of supernatural entity or something. I don't know, it's just a glitch and one of the funnest in the game. If you ever go back and play this game, Go to this swing set and just fling yourself across the map. It's a great way to escape the cops. Invincible Criminals Okay, so this one isn't too special or anything. It's another one of those myths addressed in the Liberty Tree article. Now, this could be just another one of those parody, like, made-up myths, or it could possibly be an easter egg or reference to the protagonists of GTA 4, Nico, Luis, and Johnny, as they can't actually die. I mean, it looks like you die when it says wasted, but really you are just teleported to the hospital. Some people also think it could refer to the nightclub bouncers in the Ballad of Gay Tony, as they actually can't be killed as well. Toxic Creature Why am I poisoned? Why am I toxic? What? This is supposedly a creature that has been spotted at the Actor Industrial Park, and is an entity that is said to be a radioactive being that would attack the player on sight. Although there is really no proof of this existing, and yeah, it's not real. Kind of anticlimactic, but this area with these abandoned factories in particular is pretty creepy. Weird Multiplayer NPC This is honestly a really strange and interesting one. Basically in the airport when playing in online free mode, Sometimes a certain pedestrian NPC can be encountered, which actually has the model of little Jacob from the main story. It's strange, because if you attack this NPC, it actually can't die from bullets, or really any kind of damage at all, and will actually then turn hostile and kill the player. Most people believe it's either a glitch or the work of modders, as it's only possible online, and I couldn't even find footage or a picture of this NPC at all. Zombies now, surprisingly, there are actually zombies in GTA 4, which I had no idea about. Although not in the traditional sense, I guess. It's like a skin in multiplayer that can make some players appear as zombies in-game, and even make zombie-like noises. And even some pedestrian NPCs can spawn with a zombie skin. Although there have been some really cool mods made of actual zombie invasions, which are really cool. Some of the most fun you can have in single player on this game for sure. And that about covers it for the myths we're going to look at today for this game. Honestly some of these are really nostalgic for me. I can remember searching for some of these as a kid with my friends, especially Ratman. Anyways, I hope you all had fun with this episode, and once again, if you haven't seen the ones we've covered on San Andreas and Mario 64, make sure to check those out next. Also, stay tuned for the biggest Lost Media project ever, coming hopefully in a week or so. Anyways, this has been me, Source Brew. Thank you all again for watching, and I will see you all with the next one. Peace.